Christ is in our midst and good evening beloved brothers and sisters my tonight's subject is anaphora prayers during holy and divine liturgy uh, we read those anaphora prayers after symbol of faith or our Nicaea Constantinople creed uh, priest or deacon says let us stand right let us stand with fear let us be attentive that we may offer the holy oblation in peace uh, the great um, uh, people answer the mercy of peace sacrifice of prayers and uh, the grace of our lord and savior jesus christ and love of god the father and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all he blesses people people answer and with your spirit let us slip out up our hearts we lift them to the lord uh, let us give thanks to the Lord. It is proper and right. In some Slavic churches, they continue. It is proper and right to worship the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, uh, the Trinity, one in essence and undivided. In a Greek tradition, uh, only is sung, it is proper and right. And priest continues loudly to read these prayers. If it is Divine Liturgy of St. John Chrysostom, he reads, It is proper and right to sing to you, to bless you, to praise you, to thank you, to worship you in all places of your dominion. For you are good and infallible, inconceivable, incons invisible, incomprehensible, existing forever, ever the same, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, you brought us out of nothing into being. And when you, when we failed, you raised us up again and did not cease doing everything until you led us to heaven and granted us your kingdom to come for all these things we thank you and your only begotten son and your holy spirit for all things done on our behalf that we know and that we uh, which we don't know for blessedness manifest that and unseen we also thank you for this liturgy which you are Please to accept from our hands even through you are summed by thousands of archangels by ten thousands of angels by cherubim by seraphim sing swing many eyed soaring a lot of their wings so he reads loudly in greek tradition in some slavic tradition he doesn't if is the divine liturgy of saint basil the great which is being read very soon during a holy and great land the prayers are always longer so he reads o existing one master lord god father almighty and worthy of adoration it is truly proper and right on befitting the magnificence of your holiness that we should praise you chant hymns to you bless you and worship you give thanks to you and glorify you thy only truly existing god the only one who is the master the lord god and worshiped father almighty and offer to you with contrite hearts and humble spirits this our spiritual worship for you have graced us with the knowledge of your truth and who can speak to your mighty acts to chant all praises you deserve or to proclaim your wonders at all times master of all lord of heaven and earth and of all visible and invisible creation you sit at the throne of glory gazing upon thy abyss you are without being invisible incomprehensible uncircumcised 
the immutable Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. He is our great God and Savior, our hope, the image of your goodness, the seal bearing, bearing of the perfect likeness, who uh, reveals you the Father in himself, the living word and the true God, wisdom before the ages, life, sanctification, power, and all true light through whom the Spirit has been revealed, the Spirit of truth, the gift of uh, sonship, the pledge of inheritance to come, the first fruit of eternal uh, good things, life creating power, the foundation of sanctification through whom every rational and intelligent creature is enabled to worship you, sending you everlasting glorification for all things serve you. The archangels, angels, thrones, dominions, principalities, authorities, power, and many eyed cherubim praise you, the seraphim, Samondio, uh, each of he has six wings, with two they cover their faces, with two their feet, and two uh, they fly, calling to one another endlessly and never ceasing praises. Then singing triumphant hymn, proclaiming, crying out, and saying, and choir sings holy, holy, holy is the Lord Savior. Heaven and earth are full uh, of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Uh, these prayers are very magnificent, very powerful, and the heart of divine liturgy telling that God always existed. No one created God, and he always existed, co-eternal. Father, Son, the Holy Spirit, God, Holy Trinity, so Holy Trinity, God, Father, God, Son, and God, Holy Spirit, Holy Trinity, uh, participate in every single divine liturgy and receive most holy communion. Blessing of Lord be upon you. Amen.